Hi, my name is Wendy Peaceman and I'm a mentor with Agents Together. I initially contacted Agents Together because I was struggling myself during the pandemic. I was teamed up with a fantastic mentor who helped me through my own difficulties. I found the experience so worthwhile, it made me feel that I had something to give back myself to other people in my position and within our industry. Having been helped, I really wanted to help others. The reward of seeing my mentees come away with what they need gives me a real feel good factor and I love doing it. It doesn't take much time out of my day and I really look forward to seeing or talking with my mentees at each meeting. I usually chat with them in between times just to make sure that they're okay. I'm really proud of my mentees. They've come a long way as I did and I hope they'll feel as positive at the end of their sessions as I did. I'd like to think they come away feeling really good about themselves and what they have and are going to achieve. To anyone thinking about becoming a mentor, I would say the two top tips I think are most important are to encourage and support and to give back. Listen to your mentee and understand their problems and look to develop a mutual trust with them the time that you spend with them, even though it's just, you know, an hour a week or an hour a month or any length of time, is really quality time. And I know from the relationships that I've built with my mentees that sometimes they can go on for well over that six month period. I hope it all goes well with you if you decide to become a mentor. And thank you very much for listening to me. Take care and stay well. Thanks. Hi, my name's Pete Cortis and I'm a mentor with Agents Together. The reason I chose to become a mentor is that I was fortunate enough in the early days of opening my business to have some people around me to talk to when I got stuck and things became difficult. The advice I received was invaluable to me in growing my business and now that my business is established, um, I would love to be in a position to, to give back some advice to help people that may be in a similar position um, to me in, in my early years. The two top tips I would give anybody considering becoming a mentor would first be to make sure you're a really, really good listener. The people you're working with um, will have a lot going on in, in their business lives. Um, and it's really important that you have a really thorough understanding of, of the issues um, and the problems they're, they're, they're trying to work through. So good listening skills, absolutely essential. The second tip would be to ensure that you're super consistent with the time you're able to offer your mentees. And during your conversations, um, ensuring that you are as supportive as possible um, and set goals to make sure that there's there's progress moving forward uh, and, and ideally after each meeting you you and your mentor, mentee should um, hopefully be experiencing some progress and as a mentor that is really great to see. Agents Together really is um, a great cause and I would encourage as many people as possible um, that have good experience, experience in the industry um, to become Mentors, thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Isaac Ball and I'm a mentor with Agents Together. Um, I've been involved with the Agents Together group for just over a year now and I'm on to my third mentee. Um, and I can safely say that over the last 12 months I've enjoyed spending time with all of them, it's been fantastic. Um, I originally got involved because next year will be my 20th year in a state agency. And I suppose I saw Agents Together as a really great chance to give back to the profession that I'm so passionate about. When I look back at my own career, I've always been lucky enough to have two or three key people around me to support, coach and bounce ideas off. And for me, Agents Together hopefully gave me the opportunity to be able to do that for somebody else. If I was going to give some advice to somebody thinking about becoming a mentor with Agents Together, I'd definitely say, first of all, get to know the person first. Um, that first session that I've done with, with all three people has been to really get to know them a little bit, 
um, and making sure that I know what makes them tick and how best to support them moving forwards. The second tip I would give is to just try and keep it as simple as possible. I think the danger can sometimes be that you end up trying to change a bit too much too soon. Whereas actually I found that a couple of key bits of advice per session were really enough to help improve their business and, and move them forward. And lastly, for anybody thinking about becoming a mentor, just pick up the phone and do it. The first call that I had with Sam was so easy. There's no pressure from their side. And honestly, I think you end up getting as much from it as probably the mentee does. So look, I hope you found this video useful. Have a great day and I hope everyone stays healthy. Thanks. Hi, I'm Verona Frankish and I am an Agents Together mentor. I have been involved in property now for almost 20 years and during those years I um, have been a coach and a mentor and still am, both officially and unofficially. I joined as a mentor as I love helping people. I love helping to challenge them and to help them grow, push them out of the comfort zone and to help them grow. And I've seen the benefit of coaching both as a coach and a mentor, but also on the other side, as I also have a business coach that I have worked with for a number of years now as well. So I wanted to share my top tips uh, to getting the best from a, a coaching or a mentoring relationship. I think the first thing to say is that um, I think Agents Together is a fantastic opportunity to support the industry and to help individuals develop, uh, particularly uh, during the last couple of years, which has been tough for many of us. But also, I think it has brought the industry together um, and we will meet people in uh, this community, uh, I guess, that we would never have met in our normal day to day. So I think that's a fantastic thing as well. So in terms of my tips, the first one is the importance of contracting. And I don't mean in a formal sense, um, but I mean whenever a relationship starts between a mentor and a mentee, it's really important that both parties are very clear about what the mentee is hoping to achieve and the mentor's role within that. And for some people that might be just a sounding board, it might be uh, they need some guidance, it might be that they need the expertise and years of experience um, around a particular subject matter, but it's really important that they're very clear about what that is and how they are going to, uh, how the mentor is going to support the mentee in achieving their goals during that uh, relationship. And then the second um, tip that I would give is the importance of holding each other to account. So a mentor is investing time, energy, resources quite often, um, and their years of experience into the mentee. And uh, holding the mentor to account to allocate that time and to commit to the sessions and commit to sharing is really important. And on the other side, it's really important that the mentee then also is held to account and that they're clear about what it is they want to achieve. They agree actions from each session and they come back with how they've progressed against those actions in the same way you would uh, with a, a fitness coach, a business coach or mentor is no different. It's really important that we hold each other to account for our roles in that relationship. So I think the last thing I wanted to say is I think it's been a fantastic initiative and it's clearly going from strength to strength. So I wanted to say a, a big thank you to the founders for um, instigating the initiative, but also particularly to Sarah Edmondson and to Sam Offley, who've been brilliant through this process. So well done, guys. And finally, for me, just to say thank you to all the mentors and mentees for their commitment to this process, um, because it takes everybody to commit to make anything a success um, and I think it's been a brilliant initiative I think it's going to continue to go from strength to strength and next year I hope is going to be a much better one from all of us in the meantime happy Christmas Christmas everybody bye